Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to the concert of the Youth Orchestra and Choir. Today, the young musician will bring you on a journey around the world. And we start immediately with the British composer Benjamin Britten and uh, his simple symphony. Actually, this piece will not only bring you to England, but uh, it will also make you have a travel back in time. In fact, uh, this piece is written in the so-called neoclassical style, which means that uh, even though Britain is a composer from the modern time, he just died 45 years ago, in this piece there are clear references to the past, in particular to the Baroque period, which range around 350 years ago. The first movement of this simple symphony is called Boisterous Bourré. The Bourré is a dance, a dance from the Baroque period, and is a very fast and lively dance. The second movement is a playful pizzicato. Pizzicato means that all the instruments of our string orchestra, senior, will pluck the strings, so they will not use the bow. And it's a piece full of humor. The third movement of the simple symphony is a sentimental saraband. The saraband is another dance from the Baroque time, this time a very elegant and slow dance. And at the end, the fourth movement is a frolicsome finale, a very ener full of energy uh, finale for this simple symphony. So there are four movements. We kindly ask you not to clap in between the movement, but to wait the end of the fourth movement. In the moment, I will turn towards you. One more interesting fact about this piece is that uh, Benjamin Britten wrote the Simple Symphony when he was a student. He was in the last year of his studies at the Royal College of Music, so he was very young, but he used uh, some melodies and some music material written when he was just nine years old. So as you can see, Britten was uh, a very talented uh, composer who started very early, and we hope that some of our musicians will try to follow his footsteps. So, without further ado, we start with the simple symphony, which actually is simple only in the title. It's not simple at all, and our musician can confirm to you. The simple symphony, written by Benjamin Britten.
Now, as you, as you can see, is the turn of the junior choir. And while they take the stage, I introduce you to the pieces they are going to sing. They will start uh, with uh, For the Beauty of the Earth by John Rutter, which is actually a truly celebration of our planet. So this journey now becomes a celebration of the whole Earth, uh, followed by Chattanooga Choo Choo by Harry Warren, which is actually a travel in America to the town of Chattanooga in Tennessee. And uh, you will uh, listen how the piano and uh, even the choir will make some onomatopoeic sound uh, recalling the sound of the, of the train. So the noise that, of the train that so many times enter in the music, for example, even I every time think about Gershwin. Now, the next piece is going to be Music Makes Me by Papulis, which is actually describing the beautiful feeling brought by the music. So it's a, this time a celebration of the music itself. And at the end, Why We Sing by Gilpin is also another fantastic and beautiful celebration of the art of singing. So I leave the stage to the junior choir led by Miss Helen.
And now after uh, the junior choir, you see them now taking the stage, we have the junior orchestra. You saw them grow from the first concert, every time getting the pieces a little bit more, more and more difficult until the moment they will reach the level to enter the senior orchestra. And uh, today also they have very challenging pieces. The first one, you know, in this uh, journey around the world, couldn't, couldn't uh, miss the Arab part. So they are going to play Arab dance from the Nutcracker by Tchaikovsky, a piece that has a lot of Arabian flair with the accompaniment of the cello, especially. And it will be then followed by the overture uh, of the Fledermaus by the Austrian composer Johann Strauss. Very famous and joyful piece. Ladies and gentlemen, the Junior Orchestra.
And now is the debut of uh, a newly formed uh, ensemble, since we have the junior orchestra made of strings. From this year, we also have a junior group made of brass and woodwind, and they are led by Miss Ali. And uh, for this, their debut performance, And for this debut performance, they will play Udite le trombe, listen to the trumpet. So now this uh, music celebration continues with the senior choir. They are going to sing for you by Carl Jen Jenkins, who is one of the most uh, played composers nowadays, the Choral Elegia. This is uh, one piece of, let's say, world music, because it includes features of uh, African music, Western music, gospel, and so on. So it is uh, actually one piece that you can often listen to during movies and documentaries. So it's called world music. So another celebration of the earth. It will be followed by a very beautiful piece by Whitehacker called Sing Gently. And uh, it is the celebration of, again, of the art of singing, especially of singing together as one. It will be then followed by Baba Yetu by Christopher Tin, which has a text in Swahili and uh, it has African rhythm. So you will really be transport to Africa during this piece. And at the end, they will uh, sing by uh, multiple composer the song called Sing, another celebration of the art of singing. Ladies and gentlemen, the senior choir.
Baba yetu ya tulia, mbinguni yetu ya tu Amina baba yetu ya tulia, mjina la kuweli tukuzwe Kutupele uchakula chetu, tunachuhita di utusamehe Makose yetu, hey, kama natu tunavo usamehe Wali yotu kise, usituti katika majaribu lakini Utoko we, na yule, muogu we Wait, wait, wait. Sing, 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 sing it out as hard as you 
Now, for the last two pieces of this uh, evening with you, we have the senior orchestra in uh, its full uh, organic. We have the strings, the woodwind, and uh, the brass. And uh, they're going to play for you two pieces. The first one, the Slavonic Dance Number no. 8 by the Czech composer um, Antonin Vorjak. It is uh, a piece full of uh, nationalistic character. It is inspired by the folkloristic music of the Slavic regions is one of the first pieces that uh, gave Vorjak a uh, big popularity, especially in his home country. Later on, when he will go to America to, be, to become the director of the New York, newly formed by the time, the end of the, the, 19th, the 20th century, the 19th century, the newly formed uh, Conservatory of Music, then he became even more famous. He, he will write later on the Symphony No. 9 from the New World. But here we are still uh, attached to the very nationalistic character. This, um, uh, this dance uh, is a dance called Furiant. So it's a very lively dance full of uh, changes of uh, accent. Sometimes it's going in two, sometimes it's going in three. After the Slavonic dance number eight, we will then continue with a very famous piece, the Waltz by Dmitry Shostakovich. It is one piece that uh, Shostakovich wrote uh, as a soundtrack for movies, apart from symphonies and many other great pieces, piano concerto, chamber music, and so on. Shostakovich wrote also a soundtrack for uh, around 40 movies, and this one was a soundtrack for a movies. He didn't actually expect to make such a great masterpiece. It was written for a variety band, so a band including saxophone, guitar, accordion, and it should have had some kind of circus-like atmosphere. Well, he would have never expected this, but this waltz became one of his most famous compositions. So you see, in life, in life sometimes it happens like this. When you don't expect something, it's coming. So, we will listen now the senior orchestra playing the Slavonic Dance No. 8 by Antonin Borjak, followed by The Waltz by Dmitry Shostakovich. Thank you. 
thank you all for coming this evening. Now, since this was the last piece of the concert, and uh, actually, I think these guys really did an amazing work, don't you think? <laughs> we would uh, like to thank uh, all the entities and institutions that uh, made this concert possible. First of all, we would like to thank the Department of Culture and Tourism, the, <laughs> the Abu Dhabi Classic Program, led by Mr. Dr. Ronald Perwitz, <laughs> and Alia al -Neyadi. They're organizing this concert and really all of this that I think is probably the first time that uh, happened in such a way is all thanks to them. So really, thank you so much. <laughs> we would like to thank the Cultural Foundation that uh, now for I don't know already how many concerts they host us and we already feel at home here with Mr. Ezzat and all the team. So thanks so much to the Cultural Foundation. We would like uh, to thank uh, the International Music Institute, all the admins, the teachers that uh, contribute with their hard work to make this uh, concert, prepare the student, and uh, really, thanks so much to all of them. We would like to thank uh, Sound of Stage for the beautiful lights and setting for today. And, uh, of course, we would like to thank one by one the instructors that uh, are following every week uh, the progress of the orchestra and they prepare them for, for this concert. So, starting from the string section, Ms. Milica. <laughs> then, at the viola, Ms. Maria. E de cello, Miss Emma. And uh, the double bass, Miss Valentina. There are flowers for all of you, they are just on the way, so they will arrive. Then at the brass section, we have Miss Ali. and uh, Mr. Yervan. Now, we have there the choir taking place. We would like to thank uh, Miss Helen for leading them. And uh, Miss Isabel. and uh, accompanied at the piano by our, we call her, Amazing Grace. So last but not least, we would like to thank all the parents and students for joining this, uh, I would say, growing uh, community. I see that uh, more and more uh, the students, but I think also the parents are really developing uh, a passion for music. And this year especially, uh, I was really happy, I have to say, to see that uh, spontaneously, we didn't even encourage them much, but uh, some of the musicians of uh, the Youth Orchestra decide to play together and make some small chamber music group. And I think this is so important because it shows that uh, the students, little by little, are really developing passion for music. They want to meet each other and play is not so obvious. And uh, I think it's already a success of this project. So I would like to thank them all and uh, thank all of you for supporting them. You see them every time moving 
They are our wonderful admin, Kevin and uh, Joy. <laughs> Joy is here. Actually, I wanted to give her the flower. So thank you so much for, uh, for joining us today. There will be audition in uh, September to enter, to enter the orchestra. And uh, you will find all the information on our uh, Instagram uh, page. So keep following us so that uh, you will see all the information. And uh, what to say? Have a great summer. Thank you and see you soon.